ready to begin. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place on the 11th of February. Centre number DDE120 and the candidate is Mehnaz Hafi. The candidate number is 01313458. The examiner is Samson C's. Examiner number 443533. Good afternoon. My name is Samson. Could you please tell me your full name? Yes, I'm Mehrnaz Hafi. Great. And could I see your identification, sure. please? Here you are. Thank you very much. Wonderful. All right, now in the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. First, I'd like to uh, ask you some questions about your free time. Describe a place in your city or town where you like to go to in your free time. Uh, well, there is this huge shopping mall right in the western part of my city called uh, Bombland. I really like there and it has a great number of uh, stores uh, of all kinds. Uh, I usually go there in my leisure time with my sister and um, I enjoy uh, window shopping there, although there are so many other things to do. Um, so uh, people can go there to do their shoppings, uh, spend time together and just have fun uh, in their leisure time. Wonderful. And why do you like to go there in particular? Um, I think it's because there are so many different activities that uh, you can uh, do there. Uh, whatever I need to buy, I can uh, find it there. Or if I want to get together with my friends, it's uh, a great place for us to hang out for a while. Um, in a uh, summary, to just uh, have a conclusion, I can say that it's like a um, little city under uh, one roof. It's amazing. All right. And is there anything you don't like about it? Yes. Uh, the only, th only thing that I can think of is the parking situation. The parking garage is uh, so crowded and sometimes I have to spend uh, a lot of time just uh, driving around to find an empty spot. Uh, besides, I have just obtained my driving license, <laughs> so it's kind of uh, annoying and it, no it annoys me even more. So I think that they should have a system to uh, show us where the empty spots are so that we can just go right to the uh, spots without driving around and around for a long time. Great. And is it a popular place for people in your city? Uh, absolutely, yes. It's a well-known place among Iranians, especially uh, people who live in Tehran. Um, I think one of the reasons is uh, because uh, you can do uh, many different activities there, as I mentioned before, uh, and there are so many things that you can purchase. The other reason um, that I can think of is that you can find whatever you need uh, and uh, people can buy uh, different stuff uh, needless to go anywhere else afterwards. Wonderful. And let's now move on to talk about the internet. Mm -hmm. How often do you use the internet? To be honest, I'm almost always online since my uh, work and my studies both can be undertaken through the internet, especially since uh, this coronavirus situation happened. Uh, we don't have any other choice than to use the internet. I usually use uh, internet to uh, find information both for my work and some personal reasons. So I'm, uh, I can say that I'm uh, using internet several times a day. Wow, and do you like shopping online? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of online shopping um, because um, it's so easy and um, you just, um, it's kind of my thing, uh, I can say, that, say it that way. Um, the shipping costs are uh, kind of high, but uh, it's worth it. Um, and uh, I really enjoy um, searching the net and uh, finding information before I make a big purchase uh, that uh, is one of the big uh, benefits that online shopping uh, has. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for up to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you are going to say and you can make notes if you wish. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? 
Yes, I understand. Okay, wonderful. So here's a piece of paper Thank and you. pencil to make notes. So here is our topic. Describe a hobby you enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. You have one minute to make notes. Thank you may you. start now. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay, yeah, one minute is up as well, so you may start speaking now. Um, one of the hobbies that I really enjoy doing is painting. Uh, I cannot say that I'm an artistic person, but I really like it. Um, the material that um, I usually use are um, uh, color, um, water, <laughs> brushes, and special watercolor papers. Um, I started uh, learning how to paint a couple of years ago. Uh, frankly, I can't remember why I decided to do that, but as soon as I knew that's what I wanted to do, I started looking for uh, classes uh, near my workplace. And uh, that was when I was a, an architecture student. Uh, I've learned a lot through these years, and uh, now I enjoy painting a lot. Uh, and that's because uh, it's really relaxing and it just gives me a um, satisfying feeling. It uh, makes me feel great about myself and my work. Uh, one of the, the other reasons that I can think of is that I find it uh, so challenging. I see it as a challenge. Uh, making a painting look the way uh, I want it to look uh, has always been a challenge. Uh, and I've had some frustrations through these years, but uh, whenever I feel like that, I finally made my mm, made my painting look uh, the way I imagined it or pictured it in my mind. It's just great. It makes me feel uh, thrilled and uh, so proud of myself. So these are the reasons that I really enjoy painting. Uh, also, I um, really like it that I have something to. Uh, hang on the walls, but of course I only hang up the successful ones, but uh, I love all of my works equally. Um, so this uh, relaxing hobby that I have uh, and have is great and uh, so useful for Thank me. Thank you very much. Okay, that's the end of the two minutes. Okay. May I have the papers back, please? Sure. Thank you. Here you are. Thanks very yeah. much. Okay, so we've been talking about a hobby you enjoy doing, and now I'd like to ask you some questions related to this. Sure. What hobbies are common in your culture? Well, Iranians have always been uh, so interested in having uh, different entertainments. One of the hobbies that is popular among my friends is um, collecting comic books. Uh, I know some people might say that it's not that commonly done among Iranians, but it is. People like collecting different comic books, uh, including uh, comics from other countries. However, uh, people like uh, collecting other things like uh, coins or stamps or some artistic people or creative people might uh, like paintings and drawings, although I think it's, uh, it can be an expensive collection. Uh, okay. Yeah. And are there any hobbies that you think are not worthwhile? Um, to be honest, some hobbies can be a real waste of time for me. Uh, for example, collecting baseball cards um, is mm, not uh, one of my favorites because I'm so uninterested in baseball. But of course, I cannot say that it can't be worthwhile for uh, someone who enjoys uh, baseball and likes this uh, hobby. 
So I think that having a hobby is fine as long as it's not harmful to yourself and other people and as long as you're having fun with it, so it's okay and it's worth uh, doing it. Okay, and why do you think people have hobbies? Um, I think people uh, have different entertainments uh, in their free time because they want to relax. After a whole week of working or studying, we all need uh, some time to relax and uh, enjoy ourselves. Uh, also, uh, people might uh, have hobbies to learn some new skills like uh, drawing, like uh, knitting or even learning a new language. Uh, and the other thing that I can think of is uh, finding new people and new friends. You can join groups of like-minded people uh, that have the same hobbies as you do and that can be so great and fun. Uh, so I think uh, these are the reasons why people uh, allocate time to hobbies. Right, and how important is it to encourage children to take up hobbies? It's great. I think it's so good to motivates uh, children to uh, take up hobbies for, the, for themselves. That's how uh, they can uh, use their free time instead of just wandering around, watching TV or just playing with their phones. Uh, it can be uh, great, uh, it can be a good experience and they can learn some new skills too. I mean, even if their hobby is to just uh, draw something simple, they can learn some useful skills too like organizing, like uh, setting up their mind, like uh, choosing a goal and reaching it. So I think it can be useful, useful in their daily life too. Oh, great. And do you think it's also important for older people, like retired people, to take up maybe a few hobbies? Yes, obviously. Hobbies, uh, as I said before, uh, can help you relax and enjoy your free time. Uh, it can also uh, be uh, useful to uh, take your mind off uh, some of the problems that you might have, you know, work problems, personal problems, and you can just enjoy what you're doing and have fun um, as long as you want and you can. So it can be a great idea to have hobbies, no matter how old are you or uh, how many problems you have in your life. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Very good. Okay. can take a deep breath now. Oof, I was a little bit <laughs> stressed. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's natural. That happens in, in every... Actually, I think it happens more in the mock test. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> don't worry about that. First, we'll have a look at the, uh, the four criteria. Uh, so, you know, just a quick roundup to get mm -hmm. your, your band score, uh, to your band score first. So, you know, what we're looking at here is easily an eight. Which, oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. You, know, this, oh, you earned so it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you earned it because um, basically you're, you're, you're ticking all the boxes that mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the speaking test in IELTS requires. You know, we'll go through them one by one. And you know, easily you can, you can increase that eight to a nine. I don't think you have any particular problem. Um, what we're looking at here, so we'll start uh, fluency and coherence. This is the first thing we're going to look at. Um, again, perfect. You know, all the, the sentences that you're producing, the, you know, the fluency sounding naturally. I thought you sounded very natural to me. Very, very natural and relaxed. Uh, you were not using particular. You had maybe a few uh, self-repetition. -re you had, you had mm -hmm. some self-repetition, but very little. Very little. It had a few ums. You know, these are just the, the minor things you could just cross off from your list, you know, to get the, the nine uh, band score rather than the eight. But, you know, you, uh, you seem very relaxed to me altogether. And your speed uh, as a whole, it was good. Maybe sometimes here and there you rushed uh, just a tiny bit and yeah. you, you, that you could easily uh, kill off some more time by just slowing down just a tiny bit. But uh, again, because you were producing amazing ideas with all the answers that you were answering correctly, um, I don't think you had a problem with, with, with time in particular, but maybe just uh, as a precaution you could slow down a little bit. Uh, vocabulary, again, was amazing. A uh, wide range of vocabulary, using them in the correct spots and uh, maybe producing the same words or the same meaning, but in, again, uh, using a wide range of vocabulary, which is very good for uh, IELTS criteria, IELTS speaking criteria. Uh, maybe you repeated words here and there, that happens. I mean, mm -hmm. Uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, native speakers, they, they would do the same. We all repeat our words 
and that, that's another natural part of the language. Maybe you could just polish that up for your IELTS speaking test. Again, just if you want, if you want to get that uh, nine band score. Uh, grammar, grammar and accuracy. Uh, again, you were using complex structures and I don't think you had any problem with that either uh, because you, see, you seemed very relaxed. You were using them in the correct, uh, the correct time and one after the other. And I don't think maybe well, at some point you were a little bit hesitant, but I think that's more about the idea that you were talking about to continue talking about your idea maybe uh, a little it's bit. It's sometimes hard to extend my ideas. That's right. I think it's hard for anyone to extend their ideas, particularly if they're not uh, prepared for the sort of questions they're going to be asked, that again could fall for, that could happen for a native speaker. A native speaker could fall into that trap. I wouldn't worry uh, too much about that. Again, if you were slightly maybe hesitant thinking about your idea, maybe just, just a tiny bit slow down. Mm -hmm. I would say just slow down in your answers in part two and part three, because it, it is a little bit complex when, when you're trying to think about uh, multiple ideas to have a conversation uh, with the examiner, especially in part three. Um, but again, uh, I don't think you had any problems with your ideas and you, the complex structures that you were using, again, fantastic stuff. Uh, pronunciation, uh, I don't think you had any problem with pronunciation. I wouldn't look at that at all. I mean, you sounded very comfortable with all the words that you were pronouncing, whether they were the simple words or some certain tongue twisters. I felt that your tongue wasn't twisted at all. <laughs> it, was, it was very good. Um, so definitely uh, pronunciation, you know, definitely I, I wouldn't uh, concentrate on that at all. Uh, altogether, just a, a, a bit of timing with the, you know, spreading out your ideas a little bit with the answers and all that is just taking down the pace. Maybe if you're in gear five, maybe reduce it to gear four. Yeah, something passing my thought that I need to think of, so yes, you're right. That's right, that's no, no, no exactly problem. I should do. That's, that's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, are there any you know, questions you'd like to ask me? Um, uh, actually, I was just worried about the time managing, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I was trying to talk as much as I can, as fast as I can, and um, yeah, it was a uh, great uh, feedback for me to just slow down a little bit and concentrate more. Thank no, you it's very my much. pleasure. No, you did a great job and you actually uh, managed to control it in many of the, uh, most of the occasions, especially uh, part two. Um, even you, you went on to elaborate even more just to make sure the, like you were talking about time management. Isn't to make the sure time <laughs> getting over? <laughs> that's right, to keep make sure the yeah. time is over. Try not to think too much about mm -hmm. that. If, if I was in your position, just, you know, uh, stick to your ideas, yeah. just what you were doing. And uh, yeah, again, it is, it plays in the back of your mind. Okay, I do have to talk for up to two minutes. But mm -hmm. you know how it works. The examiner stops you after the two yeah. minutes, so don't worry. I mean, if you just focus on that with controlling the speed, um, and if, if you control the speed and uh, stop that, you know, slight hesitant side with the ums, because we all do it. Native speakers, we always have the ums and the pauses. So you just polish. It's just basically polishing up what you have, and you'd easily get that nine band score. I don't see any problem. Any. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you no, know, I know so. So I, I wish you the best of luck and well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was uh, great and I uh, really, uh, I can really use the feedbacks that you gave me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Anytime.